Welcome back to the channel. Are you tired of scrolling through endless lines of missing or crucial commands? Let's say goodbye to those dull sessions. In this video, I'm going to reveal how to supercharge your secure CRT with vibrant color keywords highlighting. So no more squinting or second guessing your configs. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your color highlighting in secure CRT, which helps you easily spot important commands and output during your network sessions. So let's get started. So if you click on your switch here, you open up your secure CRT, and I'm in my switch right now. Pretty plank. I can start doing some config. Just shows me what's going on. Things like that. Now, if there was an error, for example, if I was trying to put something which was kind of incorrect, I would might miss it. Let's say I was just pasting a command here with some config. It looks like it went through, but if there was an error message, I will exactly not know what really happened. Let's go ahead and change that. What you're going to learn is what keyword highlighting in secure CRT and why does it make your CLI sessions much more efficient? Now, what files do you need to download and where to place them in for your smooth installation? How to configure your color schemes, adjust keyword options, and restart session for a seamless and bright highlighted experience? Now, why does it matter? Now, enhanced visibility. Obviously, when it's plain blank like this, it's very simple to miss something if there was an error. It's so hard to spot any error. Fast troubleshooting. Quickly, you can differentiate if there was any issue that came up, came back with an error. So solving becomes a breeze because you don't want to spend time troubleshooting your labs or when you're trying to learn a certain setup. Now, customize your look and feel. Not everybody likes same kind of font, same kind of colors. Everybody has different preferences. So depending on what you like, you can obviously go ahead and use that. All right, so let's start going. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website here. Again, I'll leave that in the description. It gives you a few options here. First is you can download these two files. So you click on it, it might open up like that. So next thing you wanna do is you wanna right click that, save as, and you wanna save it as your, so let's say I'm putting all my files here. So I'll save it there, right? So that's saved. It does have a few files here. Uh, if you look at it, there are two options you can do it. You also, they have given you a script, a Python script. Now for this, you need to make sure you have Python installed on your laptop and preferably the latest. I think it's uh, 3.10 or higher. Uh, I have 3.13, which is the latest stable release I have using. Once you have all these files, one, two, and three, downloaded on the folder somewhere, there are two ways to do it. One, as I said, it's a manual option where you actually go on your global options. You go to options, global options, and then you pretty much go to your configuration path right here, right? So that's your configuration path. Copy that, open up your folder, and that folder should actually bring up, and you just paste these files there. So the ones fi one files that you downloaded in the keywords, you need to go and paste them here basically, right? So once you paste them here, then it has all those files. That's one option. And then after that is done, session, you'll be able to go to your session option. Let me go back to my configuration again. Once you've copied all those files in there, you will be able to go to your session options, go to keyword highlighting, and then pick the one that you like. So in this case, it would be appearance, keyword highlighting, and then you'll see the Cisco words right here that I already have, right? So this is the one, and the magic is it changes. Now it highlighted some of the things. That's just this. what's on this config. Now, another option would be you can go right-click here, go on new button, and you can say, I want to run a script. What script you want is that's where you pick up your script. So you go back to your desktop. That's where my file is, CRTC files. And I'm going to pick up the file name here. And this is the Python thing. Open up. I can change the button to whatever I like. Orange this time. And then that's the orange button for this, right? So you click on that. And then it asks you what file do you want to import. Similarly, I can go and pick up a file name here as well. Let's pick up this time, this one that I have, and then you see that it changes it, right? So simply by doing that, so two options, you can either do it manually, the one that I showed you, or the second option would be is you can actually create a script that I just showed you. That's the easiest way to do it. The key idea is that you're taking those INI files and you're putting them in your folder with your installation with the config folder and inside the keywords folder, that's where you're throwing all those in there and making it look nicer. There are a few options there. Uh, there are some ones that you can download, or if you like to change, you can change them as well at the same time. You can always fine tune that. And that's about it. 
you have now a custom colored highlight in secure CIT, making it easier to spot critical commands and output in your Cisco device or any other sessions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.